The Blood Moons, Prophecies and Revelations of Luz de Maria. Blood Moons and Prophesied Events. Echoing the warnings and reminders heaven makes through Luz de Maria, in this case referring to the Blood Moons or Red Moons, we have created a summary about this particular astronomic phenomenon, which has historically coincided with truly important events whereby we take into consideration analyzing the global context and said astronomic event to place ourselves on a timeline with respect to biblical and private revelations. We are not speculating that on a particular date something extraordinary will happen, for only God knows the day and the hour of the events, Although in virtue of the revealed word and the consonance with serious global events not only of a religious nature, such as the persecution of Christians in the Middle East, the loss of faith, a growing tension among the hierarchy of the church, which is heading towards a schism, and the resounding political, economic, social, and warlike crises that encompass a large part of humanity, added to the deterioration of the environment and the increasing seismic and volcanic activity, lead us to take this matter in question very seriously as a sign we are unfailingly entering into the fulfillment of grave biblical prophecies, namely events of universal order, as indicative of the start of changes humanity will face. For this reason, we will not deal here with the astronomic phenomenon as such, rather we will seek to expose it as a temporary marker of the beginning of the great and serious events prophesied in the ancient sacred books and in the current revelations given to Luz de Maria, which will definitively change humanity, encompassing the following. Geophysical changes, earthquakes, tidal waves, volcanic eruptions, climate change, droughts, flood, hurricanes, extreme heat and cold, humanitarian crisis, famines, mass migrations, diseases, pollution, social, religious, political and economic crisis, war, the collapse of the economy, the schism of the church, authoritarianism, loss of freedoms, new world order, arrival of the Antichrist. Total Lunar Eclipse 2022 this type of eclipse takes place when the Earth gets between the Sun and the Moon, generating a cone of shadow that darkens the Moon while it is in its full phase and dyeing it a reddish color. It is also known as a blood moon. Two total lunar eclipses will take place this year, 2022. The first arrives the 15th, 16th of May. It will be visible across an ample region, all of South and Central America a great part of North America, Southwestern Europe, Southwestern Asia, Africa, the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans, as well as Antarctica. The second lunar eclipse of 2022 will occur the 7th-8th of November. The regions that will see at least some part of the eclipse are Northeastern Europe, Asia, Australia, North America, a great part of South America, the Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Oceans, the Arctic and Antarctica. The start of penumbral eclipse will be Tuesday 8th of November at 8.02 UTC, the maximum moment of the eclipse, the totality with the blood moon at 10.59 UTC. Echoing the warnings and reminders that heaven makes through Luz de Maria, in this case regarding the blood moons or red moons, we have made a synthesis around this particular astronomical phenomenon, which has historically coincided with really important events, so we have taken into consideration the world context and this astronomical phenomenon in order to situate ourselves in a timeline with respect to the biblical and private revelations. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Joel chapter 2, 31. I watched as he opened the sixth seal. There was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair, and the whole moon turned blood red. Revelations chapter 6, 12. I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. Acts chapter 2, 19 to 20.